Which of the following expressions could be used to convert 25 feet per minute to miles per hour? All right, so I love this question because it's very straight up, very straightforward. So let's go ahead and figure this thing out. So, let's go ahead and look at this. Because if we have 25 feet per minute, that means we have 25 feet and the word per would mean over one minute. So automatically this last choice, nah, wouldn't work. That wouldn't work because we have minutes on top and feet on bottom. That wouldn't really work. So think about it this way. We're trying to convert. So the way that we want to multiply is make sure that your units will cancel to get the new unit. So here's what I mean. If I want miles per hour per, so if I want to end up, if I want to end up with some miles over hours, notice that if feet is on top and miles is supposed to end up on top, well, I'm going to need to multiply by feet in my denominator. And let me go ahead and make this a little thinner, just a little too thick. So we need feet on bottom so that we can go ahead and cancel out the units. That's what we need. So I'll have the one mile up top because one mile is 5,280 feet. If you didn't know that, if you did not know that, we're gonna have to practice, okay? We're gonna have to know these facts. So we have one mile per 5,280 feet. And also we wanna make sure that let's go ahead and talk about the time. We wanna get to hours in the denominator. So because of that, I'll go ahead and make sure that I write hours in my denominator. And we know that one hour is 60 minutes. So watch this, the minutes will cancel. Look at that. Leaving you with miles per hour. Miles per hour, exactly what we wanted. So let's see which one of these is correct. And remember, we can go ahead and interchange these. It's multiplying. If this was two and this was three, three times two is the same as two times three. So we can interchange those if we wanted to, the entire fractions. So we want the one that has one mile over 5,280 feet. Let's see, okay, both A and B do, but not C and D. So they're gone, they're gone, they're gone. And now we gotta find out which one has 60 minutes over one hour. Ah, this one has one hour over 60 minutes, that is gone, this is the right one, this is the right one. A is your correct choice. So hopefully that structured approach really helps you out. And if you would like more information on this, guys, go ahead and check out the Math Praxis Bootcamp. Hope this helps.